It says, settler society myth, all Aboriginal peoples have access to free PSE education. Well, you just heard Regional Chief Lone Child, it just simply isn't true. And so we're here to smash the myths that exist. We have a shortfall in education that is about 300 million per year. Who does that impact? It's these young ones. Zero dollars for libraries, is that right? Zero dollars for computers, is that right? Zero dollars for instruction in our indigenous languages that are endangered, is that right? Is it time for change? That's what gathers us here on a day like today. That's why these walkers have walked over 100 kilometers for all of you here today. And so you've heard here a number of times a sense that it is our time. That growing deficit, that 2% cap has been in place. And to all the young people that are here, I want to join in expressing appreciation to the chiefs. There are many chiefs who are here today. I want to tell all of you young people that last December in our major national assembly, they stood up, they stood up behind Kitigan Zibi Chief White Duck, who we must acknowledge here today as a champion of education for all of us. They, they, stood up, they stood up behind Colby Tatusis, the former National Youth Chair. We've got Kluwani representing the young people and speaking out. We've got youth representatives. The chiefs of the nation stood up behind these individuals and they said, education is priority number one in our nations. And as you've heard here today, as you've heard here today, there are so many challenges that face our chiefs. Young people, we need your energy. We need you to step forward. So often you're told you're the leaders of tomorrow. By your presence here today, you're the leaders of right now. You are the fastest growing segment of the Canadian population. Over 50% of our peoples are under the age of 25. You can take over right now, young people. Right now you can take over. Yeah, I'm looking at you. That's what I'm talking about. And so step up. Step up and push the old guys. I'm, e I'm going to even consider myself one of the old guys now. you got to step forward and keep pushing us. Don't wait for anybody. And by your actions here today, you're not waiting for anyone. It is in, indeed our time. It is our time as Indigenous peoples to rise up. I feel very confident that my, my late granny, she's very pleased. As First Nations, we are on the comeback trail as Indigenous people.